Oh, hi! This week's gonna be a quick one because I'm writing in the pain lull. This is the thing other people get excited about is when there's a reprieve from whatever your body is doing. This is the trouble about putting two videos out a week. I can only push things off so much. So you guys have been seeing and will continue to see uh, me on, on shittier days. Not that I try to hide it, but I don't feel like filming on those days, generally speaking. So I put effort in. I put in some earrings and like, I don't know, got dressed, kind of. I am in pajamas and my old man socks. Oh no, why did I do that? Don't contort your body in weird ways when your abdomen is trying to destroy you from the inside. Let's get into the thing. Here's what you need. It's just a tea and water day today. I am trying to put nutritional content into my body, but there's also a fear at any minute I could throw it back up because the pain gets so bad that sometimes my body just ejects whatever's inside of it so it can like hunker down as much as possible. Other times it just short circuits and I black out. So, you know, fun. I love that this is a thing that I can't stop from happening. So, cool. We're gonna make some nature necklaces because I've gone on two hikes in the past 10 days, so I'm outdoorsy as fuck now. So yeah, I got these little jars. They're actually like bead storage containers and they were pretty cheap for a whole pack. I tried to do something else with them that involved having like liquid inside. I was making little Harry Potter potion bottles. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh fuck, the window is closing. I'm gonna have to continue on later. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to lay on the floor. Oh. Okay. Let's give this another try. I gathered some more supply because I realized I, I didn't even have like the string and stuff to be using. I made this a couple weeks ago and it was just supposed to be like a Amortentia potion bottle and this was much fuller than this and also there's like all the schmutz on the side so I'm glad I didn't end up selling any of these because the color like settled more than I thought. I broke up a watercolor color pencil into some water and like really ground it up and that's what colored it but it's still separated plus the glitter tends to settle. I don't see that it spilled in there so I don't know where the rest of the liquid went because it's been in the same box for a while. So yeah, anyway, that was the original intent for these bottles. But I figure because I had such a tough time like gluing the cork into the glass because it's a smooth surface, plus it'd be wet from the liquid inside, we're gonna do dry things. I went on a hike yesterday and it was windy as shit. Here are some of my attempts to film while out there. Look at how happy and well I felt. Such a fall from grace. But because of the wind, it knocked all the little baby pine cones out. I haven't seen so many small pine cones before. They're just getting like ripped off the branches and they're really cute. I also found some hunks of white birch bark. I've always been fascinated with it. I really wanted to make some notes for my mealtime perk patrons. It's kind of a weird thing to write on but you guys are gonna get little little notes. I painted the back just cause it was a way to kind of seal the backside with the acrylic. And also I, you wouldn't have been able to see my writing utensil. Yeah, I just got a bunch of scraps of birch. Side note on that, just on a whim, thought I would try to cut some of the birch I found with the Cricut. You guys, I made this design a while ago. I was gonna do vinyl stickers out of it and I just haven't, I haven't, um, just gotten to that project yet. But yeah, I really like it. There is one where the heart's completely cut out, but I kind of like just the layer of it taken out, a little more subtle. That way the focus is on the wood and not the painted background. I do want to see what it looks like with other colors though. But yeah, I put a layer of Mod Podge over it just to try to seal it in, in case it started to flake away or something. Whatever the opposite of sturdy type of wood is, which is why Makes it good for crafting. These are uh, for sale in my Etsy shop if you want one. 
White birch is actually the state tree of New Hampshire, which is why I specifically came up with this idea. I promise I didn't like rip it off a living tree or anything. There were just bits in the trails. But yeah, I can certainly do other states with hearts in the middle or no heart if you just want the outline. Yeah, these are for sale in my Etsy shop. So yeah, I used the pine cones and a little tiny sliver of the white birch in this jar. But for the second one, I'm gonna take another little tiny pine cone and then I was in my own yard and these little, it's like a pine cone and a rose had a baby. I have no idea what this is. Things like this really make me miss my dad because he is such a plant guy and he knew like every tree and flower, especially ones from this area. Yeah, he'd be the first person I would ask, but I think the two of those next to each other look neat. Okay, and then the third one I'm gonna do, gonna have a bunch of little tiny seashells in it. I personally am not a beach guy, at least not in the traditional sense. Like I didn't do many adventures with my family growing up because finances but going to the beach in the winter, you didn't have to pay for parking. We just packed our own food. There were no crowds anywhere. And we just kind of walk along the sand and the jetty picking up empty seashells. This is actually one we probably picked up when I was a kid, but yeah, the like seaside shacks that sold boogie boards and life jackets had like little multi-packs of tiny shells for like five bucks. So I'm sure that's what I got. I was actually trying to find a way to make earrings out of some of these tiny shells, but they were just breaking apart. So yeah, I don't want to fill it all the way, but I think having a handful in here and then as it moves around, different ones will be more prominent than the others. I thought it was a cute idea. I don't know. All right, now for actual assembly. I, th I have a couple ideas on how to do this. We'll see. We'll see how it goes though. Just gonna take really thin like floral wire and just wrap it around the neck pretty tightly. Could screw something into the cork but I think you need to like sand down the inside of the glass top and then glue the cork in and then put like a head pin or something into the top here and you can loop a jump ring through that. I don't want to move right now so I'm not gonna do that but just letting you know it's an option probably maybe. Twist the wire together to keep it taut on there. That's actually looking kind of better than expected, to be honest. Cut this a little ways down. I'm gonna wrap this wire around the jump ring a couple of times. I got a little jump ring attached there. Oh God, it's starting again. No. All right, I'm gonna grab a second jump ring. I'll be attaching two pieces of chain. You can do it as one piece of chain. I just had these already cut from another necklace I was making. And I attached a lobster claw closure at the back, but yeah, use whatever you got. The gauge was too thick for the chain to fit over. That's something you gotta keep in mind with jump rings when you're buying them is making sure that they're not like too fat to fit into whatever you need them to go through. Can you hear how exhausted I am? That was maybe the weirdest thumbnail I've ever taken. Oh, I'm getting such intense chills right now. It's just like coming in waves. You may be saying to yourself, just go to fucking bed. And I, I will when it like gets really bad, but in these like, it hurts, but it's not so intense. I feel like I'm gonna pass out or throw up or like can't even talk. So it's nice having something to focus on. Needing to do a video is extra motivating for me to keep on task, where otherwise I kind of just get absorbed into the paint and that's not a fun way to spend the day. So I have this like colored hemp. I don't know, I had a braided hemp bracelet necklace phase in uh, high school. I just did a square knot around the back, but I thought it would be cool to do the purple with the purple shells. Man, the glare on these is tough, huh? So I pulled a strand long enough that it would be a decent like dangling necklace length and I just tied it around in the center of the strand. You could do two separate ones or two different color ones. That would have been a real high school Joe move. And then honestly, I'm just gonna do a knot on this one. Couple knots, like when you're tying off a sewing needle. I don't know what that knot is called, but yeah, that that's gonna do the trick. And then if you want a hemp cord, but not one that's so long, I'm gonna do the same thing, cut a length of the hemp. This is shorter. I'm gonna do the square knot in the center around the jar. You like these fancy pajama pants I'm wearing? 
And if you don't know how to do a square knot, we're going to do right over left and then left over right. And you get a nice nice knot that's not going to slip anywhere. I mean, it's going to go around the jar because it's smooth, but like it's not going to loosen. All right, feeling better now. Feeling like mostly a person for the time being. Ugh, still getting chills though. That's not fun. It's like I can feel something draining out of me. Well, okay, let's not get into it. So I have, oh, this is going to be very hard to show you. I have these little tiny beads. They're like little tubes. I cannot confirm this because I'm not a professional, but I think they're for clamping things. I'm going to give it a shot. See what happens. I'm going to thread this through here once and then try to loop it through again. This is like impossible to show you. Oh, did it work? Yeah. So I got a little loop and I have the second end back in there. Can you see what's happening? The other end is sticking back out and now I'm gonna take my flat ended pliers and clamp it shut. Yeah? This is cool. This is actually the first time I've ever used these but I I had guessed. All right, I'm gonna do that for the other side. Well this is exciting. Do I, don't I look excited? I promise I'm in like a decent mood and I'm enjoying working on this project. I just, I can tell I'm coming across like a dead person. <laughs> I got my second side done. So now I'm gonna put some jump rings on here. And on one of the jump rings, I'm also gonna add a little lobster clasp closure. I feel like I'm actually being more helpful than I anticipated being. I was gonna stand up, but extending anything seems like a bad idea right now. Well. Yeah, this this is my cue to go. If you'd like to check out the things I mentioned in my Etsy shop, I'll link to that in the description, as well as my Patreon, which I also mentioned. And I have a Kofi coffee whatever page, and I post videos every Wednesday and every Saturday. And if you want extra videos, like even though my March adventure vlog that I posted here was like 45 fucking minutes long, I put up two additional vlogs from that month. One was my New York City trip and there's a whole vlog of my birthday day and then the convention I worked that weekend. So if you'd like to check any of that out, that's for all patron tiers. So one dollar and up, what whatever you can do. And if you want weird things like notes written on birch box, birch box? No, birch bark. I almost said birch beer. Have any of you ever had that? It's a weird color and I think I've really only had it at Pat's or Gino's in Philadelphia. Is that a Philadelphia thing? It's like an old timey soda. I prefer sarsaparilla, but I also just don't really drink soda. Boy, is that irrelevant information. If you would like weird random shit sent to you once a month, my very favorite thing in the world is my mail time perk on my Patreon. So please feel free to check that out. Oh, and I've been in front of my bag of trash this entire time. I feel you, buddy. And I'll see you all on Wednesday with another video. Bye. Painkillers I took aren't doing anything other than possibly just fucking with my head.